Hey y'all, my name is Mangina and I'm a gender fluid, two spirit, transracial, Muslim atheist, other kin feminist, anti racist, social justice warrior. And I want to reveal to you my trans odyssey and how I've overcome hatred and bigotry to truly embrace who I really am. On Mondays, I identify as cisgender white male. This is so I can lecture everyone on Twitter about how they need to check their white privilege and their sexist, patriarchal, racist rhetoric. Some people say I do this because I am a white knight and because I can't get pussy. These people hate women. And in my perfect world, their misogyny would not be tolerated. On Tuesdays, I identify as transracial, just like my heroine, Rachel Dozioff. Hey Rachel! In my heart, I truly know I am African American. My nigga. <laughs> Being transracial on Tuesdays has really come in handy when applying for educational or job positions because of all the wonderful opportunities offered to minority groups. Some people claim that just because I was born white, with white ancestors stretching back four centuries, that this means I am engaging in cultural appropriation. Are you African American? I don't, I don't understand the question. This is nothing less than trans racism. And as you can see, 71% of MSNBC viewers agree with me. Wednesday is hump day, which for me is transgender day. My name on Wednesday is Bronwyn Hammer. What pisses me off about Wednesdays is that people fail to address me by my proper pronoun, which are, depending on my mood, Z, G, they and son. This is nothing less than transphobia. Oh well, just call me Bronwyn. And we're gonna change the world. On Thursdays, I identify as transable. Just like transgenders, transable people are trapped inside the wrong body. That's why we want to hack off our limbs and become disabled. As you can see, I started with my ear. Transabled phobes say this is a mental illness, which is yet another example of the hatred and bigotry that trans people have to endure. But hey, finding a parking space on Thursdays is real easy. On Fridays, I identify as trans obese. I fully embrace the body positivity movement. Hateful people say that morbid obesity shouldn't be promoted because it's directly linked with horrible illnesses and premature death. This is nothing more than fat shaming, the thin-centric conspiracy that seeks to oppress and reinforce patriarchal beauty standards on behalf of the fashion and cosmetics industry. My heroine is Whitney Way Thor. Hey Whitney! There's PC terms for everything these days, but fat people are fair game. Someone has to fight for us. I'm even hoping that someone will be mean to me, so they'll throw a huge party in my honor. Sending the loving message to all obese people that heart attacks, strokes, and diabetes can be trendy too. On the weekends, I like to express my true identity as other kin or trans species. Saturday is duck day. I like to go to the park and play with the other ducks, but the children are frightened of me. This is trans species phobia. I really can't wait for the full implementation of Obamacare. Then, just like in other countries with socialized healthcare like the UK and Canada, I can force taxpayers to pay for my full transition to a duck. Feathers and all! On Sundays, I am proudly trans hippo. Just as in human society, the other hippos reject me. But that's okay, because I know I truly am in my heart on Sundays anyway. 
a hippopotamus. So that's my trans odyssey. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope other people within the trans community can take heart from my courage and bravery. Please leave your comments below. However, if you don't totally agree with and fully embrace every facet of my lifestyle, I will publicly shame you, have your account shut down, and get you fired from your job. That's tolerance. Bye, y'all.